Astronomers in Durham have made the biggest ever computer model of the evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present day. In the heart of NASA's most advanced research facility, a machine that defies the limits of classical computation has just experienced something so mind-bending, so unprecedented, that NASA had no choice but to shut it down. Imagine a world where reality itself hangs in the balance. A world where the cutting-edge technology we rely on becomes a gateway to the unimaginable. What happened behind those closed doors? What did NASA's quantum computer discover that forced them to pull the plug? Join us as we unravel the mysteries of NASA's quantum shutdown, exploring the very edges of human knowledge and venturing into realms where science fiction meets reality. Quantum computers are like the rock stars of the tech world, grooving to the beat of quantum mechanics instead of the usual computer rhythm. Unlike our regular computers that juggle bits as zeros or ones, quantum computers have these cool buddies called qubits. These qubits can throw a wild party holding both zero and one at the same time, thanks to a mind-bending move called superposition. Qubits are the VIPs in the quantum computer party scene, pulling off a magic trick where they exist in multiple states at once. It's like they're multitasking champions, handling a bunch of complex calculations all at the same time. Quantum computers are the rebels, using qubits' extraordinary talents to process information in a way that's completely out of this world. It's like they're throwing a tech revolution and everyone's invited to the quantum party. Old school computers are like strict rule followers. They stick to either zero or one at a time. But quantum computers are the rebels of the tech world, pulling off a mind-bending act with superposition and entanglement. It's like they're juggling a whole circus of information at the same time. If we're wondering how this quantum magic started, rewind to the early 90s. That's when quantum theory strutted onto the scene, turning heads and sparking a revolution. Scientists embarked on a thrilling adventure to tap into the full power of quantum computing. Quantum theory digs deep into the tiniest Lego blocks of our universe, atoms and subatomic particles. Back in the 90s, Max Planck shook things up with the idea that energy isn't a smooth stream. That's the tasty secret sauce behind quantum computing's quantum leap. In 1925, Vera Heisenberg shook up the science scene by adding a spicy twist to the quantum revolution. He dropped the uncertainty principle bomb, basically saying you can't have everything all at once. According to him, nailing down the exact position and momentum of a particle simultaneously is a no-go. The quantum world, as it turns out, is a real show-off, keeping us on our toes with surprises and probabilities. Fast forward to in 1935, Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen joined forces to drop the EPR paradox bomb. In 1980, the quantum world decided to flex its muscles again with the revolutionary concept of quantum computing. Computers tap into the mystical powers of quantum mechanics, pulling off mind-blowing calculations that'll make your regular calculator blush. Quantum computing is like the rock star of the tech world, making us all believers in the magic of science. Back in 1982, physicist Paul Benoff had this light bulb moment. A computer that taps into the mind-bending powers of quantum mechanics. These quantum whiz-bangs could outpace our regular computers, making them seem like turtles in a race. The hype for quantum computing skyrocketed. In that same year, physicist Richard Feynman caught the quantum bug and ran with Benoffi's idea. He saw these quantum machines as the superheroes of computation, tackling problems that leave our everyday computers scratching their heads. Feynman's excitement set off a spark in the scientific community, paving the way for more brainy adventures in quantum computing. Fast forward a bit, and researchers dive deep into the nitty-gritty of quantum mechanics. They were decoding the secrets behind this tech marvel. Then, in 1994, mathematician Peter Shaw dropped a bombshell of an algorithm. It was like stumbling upon a hidden treasure, unlocking the full potential of quantum computers. Suddenly, they could crunch numbers at warp speed, leaving their classical counterparts in the dust. In 1998, things got interesting in the world of computers. A bunch of brainiacs at the Los Alamos National Laboratory pulled off a cool move. They made a quantum computer with two qubits using some nuclear magnetic resonance tricks. It had its quirks, but it was a big deal in the whole quantum computing journey. Zoom ahead to the early 2000, when quantum computing was the cool kid on the block. 
loads of smarty pants in different labs and companies decided they wanted to one-up the game. In 2021, Team IBM hit a home run with the IBM Qubit, a 7-qubit quantum computer that had scientists and tech geeks doing jazz hands. The quantum community wasn't just chilling, they were all about protecting their quantum secrets from nosy interference. They got into quantum error correction. It's like putting armor on quantum information to shield it from the environment's meddling. They even came up with codes like the Surface Code, giving qubits a superhero layer that made quantum computers way more trustworthy. In 2005, brainy folks at the University of Imbruck and the National Institute of Standards and Technology pulled off a cool feat. They built a real-deal quantum computer, not a massive one, just a baby with five qubits. This little gadget showed that we were on the brink of having practical quantum computers, not just in our dreams. Fast forward to 2007, and the Brainiacs at Yale University were on fire. They whipped up some seriously stable qubits using fancy solid-state systems. More stable and manageable materials make quantum computers feel like the cool kids on the block. Zoom ahead to 2010, and the University of Science and Technology of China pulled off a move that sounds like pure science fiction. They didn't teleport people, but they did something close, quantum teleportation. Imagine zapping quantum info from one particle to another, a whopping 10 miles away. It was like opening a door to a whole new dimension of possibilities. This mind-blowing discovery wasn't just for show. It laid the groundwork for building quantum networks, where quantum info could jet off on epic journeys spanning great distances. In 2013, Google and NASA teamed up to create the D-Wave 2, a supercool quantum computer. Everything was going great until an unexpected government shutdown hit the scene, putting a serious dent in the project's progress. Turning the computer off and on again to fix things would be a real pain in the wallet and the clock. Google had its own set of problems. They had put money into the Ames Quantum Artificial Intelligence Lab, giving them access to the quantum computer. The lab closed down, leaving Google scratching its head about what to do next. The government shutdown really messed things up, putting the brakes on M's exploration of this amazing technology. When the government is back in business, the D-Wave 2 quantum computer is ready to roll again. The dream of delving into the quantum frontier is back on track and bouncing with excitement. In 2019, Google shook things up by showing off quantum supremacy. This got other tech big shots, like IBM and Microsoft, all pumped up and competitive about quantum stuff. Come 2020, IBM dropped the mic with the IBM Quantum System 1. It was the first one designed for regular commercial use. This move was a game changer. It made quantum computing seem less like a sci-fi dream and more like a real-life tool. People and governments took notice, throwing money and attention at it. Everyone wanted in on the quantum action. Governments around the world couldn't resist the allure of this quantum tech. They saw it as a game changer with potential applications that could flip the script. They started pumping funds into quantum research initiatives. Research centers and labs became the cool spots where academia, industry, and government brains teamed up. In today's scientific circles, there's a wild idea floating around. What if intelligent life is out there, on other planets, using black holes as mega-powerful supercomputers? It's like the universe's own high-tech secret club. Imagine this universe as a giant puzzle, and in the midst of it, there's a head-scratcher called the Fairy Paradox. Scientists have been scratching their heads over this one for quite some time. If the odds of life flourishing elsewhere in the universe are high, why haven't we stumbled upon some clear signs of it? Well, according to the Tipler conjecture, if there are super-smart alien civilizations out there, we should be seeing some unmistakable traces of their activity. A group of physicists from Germany and Georgia has a wild theory. It involves aliens harnessing black holes for their fancy tech. Black holes as power sources for advanced civilizations. Since the 1960s, we've been on the lookout for radio signals from extraterrestrial pals, but these physicists suggest we need to up our game. Instead of just tuning into radio, let's expand our search to include other signs of high-tech wizardry. Think directed energy, neutrinos, quantum communications, and even gravitational waves. Jad Valley and Zaza Osmanov take this cosmic exploration a step further. They dive into the possibility of large-scale quantum computing as a way to catch these advanced alien civilizations in the act. In this cosmic detective story, we're not just listening for alien chatter, we're keeping an eye out for their high-tech fingerprints across the universe. 
These super advanced beings might be using black holes as the ultimate powerhouses for their quantum computing endeavors. It's like they've turned these cosmic phenomena into the Avengers headquarters of the information processing universe. These black holes, possibly crafted by some hyper-intelligent aliens, are like tiny powerhouses emitting intense radiation, including the famous Hawking radiation named after the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking. According to Diwali and Osmanov, these neutrinos could be the intergalactic equivalent of a high five from a super advanced civilization. The Ice Cube Observatory, chilling out in the depths of Antarctica's ice, becomes the cosmic Sherlock Holmes trying to crack the case. It's a bit like our very own superhero, Lair in the Icy Depths, decoding the cosmic mysteries. This mind-blowing theory might just solve the Fermi Paradox, which is basically the cosmic version of where are all the aliens? If these extraterrestrial pals of ours have ditched the old-fashioned communication methods and upgraded to using black holes as their quantum supercomputers, a cosmic drama where black holes are the quantum superheroes, and the Ice Cube Observatory is our trusty sidekick trying to decode the messages from these high-tech neighbors. It's a blockbuster in the making, explaining why our cosmic buddies might keep it hush-hush with their advanced quantum computing technology. Alien societies tune into the vast cosmic radio station, sending signals out into the universe like interstellar postcards. But there's a catch. Michio Kaku, the physics maestro, recently spilled the quantum beans, shining a light on the computing marvels that could fact-check the chatter of AI chatbots. Quantum machines playing cosmic referees, making sure the information game is on point. Dr. Kaku has reservations. He's worried that governments might hijack this fact-checking wizardry, twisting truths and muffling opposing voices. It's a sci-fi plot unfolding in reality, and the responsible use of this tech is non-negotiable. It's a tech thrill ride, no doubt, with perks for society, but also a slippery slope. AI has given us nifty gadgets like image-making wizards and chatbots with the gift of gab. However, this high-tech wonderland has its shadows. Deepfakes, the mischief-makers of the digital realm, spread political untruths like wildfire. They whip up content so realistic it's hard to separate fact from fiction, turning the truth into a cosmic guessing game. Deepfakes can really stir things up by spreading fake news and confusing international matters. This can get out of hand when law enforcement AI gets involved, leading to too much policing and biased decisions, especially affecting communities that are already struggling. The bias in AI models just makes social inequalities worse. Even AI language models can contribute to the problem by generating false information that could be harmful. On top of that, AI trading bots can mess with the stock market, but scientists worldwide are on a mission to create the ultimate quantum computer. And it's a tough challenge that might take several more years or even a whole decade to actually happen. The timeline depends on breakthroughs in technology, new discoveries, and of course having the necessary resources. They're tackling it in two main ways. First, there's gate-based quantum computing, where they try to control individual bits to do calculations. They're working hard to make these bits more stable, like superconducting circuits and trapped ions, while also minimizing errors. The second approach is adiabatic quantum computing, where they slowly evolve a quantum system to solve complicated problems through quantum annealing. Scientists are playing around with all sorts of materials and fancy gadgets to make adiabatic quantum computers work better. To keep things on track, they need to maintain quantum coherence, which basically means keeping everything in sync. It requires super-controlled and isolated environments at temperatures so low they'd give you frostbite. Fixing mistakes is a big deal in quantum computing. If errors sneak in, the results can go haywire. Scientists are on a mission to figure out how to handle these slip-ups and make quantum computers more reliable. Everyone's jumping on the quantum bandwagon. Governments, schools, and companies are teaming up and pouring cash into quantum research and development. Big names like IBM Quantum, Google Quantum AI, and Microsoft Quantum are leading the charge. They're giving scientists top-notch hardware, software, and all the know-how they need. In the fast-changing world of quantum computing, scientists are always coming up with fresh ideas and new software. Mission success rates skyrocket, and safety becomes the unsung hero. Traditional codes could be written in space dust because quantum attacks can crack them open. Quantum cryptography, with its entanglement and superposition dance, becomes the guardian of our interstellar secrets. No eavesdropping aliens allowed. Quantum tunneling turns these computers into efficient spacecraft engines, propelling us through space like never before. 
They're the simulation gurus optimizing logistics, crafting materials, and predicting nuclear reactions. In a nutshell, quantum computers aren't just geeks in the tech world. They're the space-age rock stars, making our space dreams a reality with their mind-bending abilities. They're unlocking new frontiers in space, beefing up security, and pushing technology to its limits. Quantum sensors as the super spies of the cosmos, nailing target detection with surgical precision. Quantum communication acts like the secret agent hotline, ensuring real-time analysis and data crunching in the heat of battle. In the grand theater of cosmic conflicts, quantum computing takes center stage, promising military mastery. Yet lurking in the shadows are potential threats and challenges, demanding our full attention. Encryption, the guardian of secrets in the digital realm, faces a cosmic showdown. It's the unsung hero behind online banking and government agencies, using mind-bending math to keep our data safe. Classical computers are left scratching their heads, making encryption the vault door that's tough to crack. Quantum computers play a tricky game. They might mess up the encryption methods we rely on. Imagine if these powerful computers end up in the wrong hands. Your private stuff, like money records or super-secret info, could be in danger. Even cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, aren't safe. They use special codes to keep transactions secure and make sure digital money stays honest. But quantum computers could swoop in and break those codes too. If these quantum computers get super strong, it could mess up how much we trust digital money, causing chaos in the online economy. It's a real puzzle, and smart people all over the world are racing to solve it. They're working on new secret codes, kind of like upgrading our locks to ones that quantum computers can't pick. A celestial showdown between quantum computers and encryption. It's an unending clash, a struggle that echoes through the digital realms. Despite the cosmic chaos, we're unwavering in our dedication to safeguarding data and upholding stability. Quantum computers, those enticing marvels of computation, bring with them both promise and peril. At the heart of the internet lies a delicate balance maintained by encryption, specifically public key cryptography. It's the guardian of online interactions, securing communications, transactions, and data transfers. Quantum computers, with their futuristic prowess, pose a threat to this cybersecurity dance. They have the potential to dismantle encryption algorithms, leaving the once secure fortresses vulnerable. The plot thickens as data privacy takes center stage. Quantum computers, armed with their immense computational might, could unravel the fabric of encrypted or anonymized datasets. Patterns and correlations, once hidden, may be laid bare. This cosmic challenge sends ripples through individuals and organizations that rely on data privacy to shield personal information or safeguard trade secrets. In this celestial drama, the stakes are high and the outcome remains uncertain. Will encryption stand strong against the quantum tide? Or will the cosmic dance lead us into uncharted territories of digital vulnerability? Only time will tell. The need for rules to safeguard our rights is clear, especially when it comes to preventing the misuse of sensitive information. Quantum computers add an extra layer of complexity, potentially shaking the very foundations of scientific simulations and models. Scientists and researchers working on simulations face a cosmic challenge. The incredible power of quantum computers could throw a wrench into the integrity of these simulations, leaving those in the scientific community in a state of uncertainty. Quantum simulations have the promise of groundbreaking progress in material science, drug discovery, and climate modeling. There's a concern lurking in the shadows. If quantum computers reach a level of power where they can crack the encryption protecting these simulations, we're looking at unauthorized access to sensitive information. Our cosmic heroes, scientists, cryptographers, and experts are on the case. They're actively crafting quantum-resistant encryption methods, also known as post-quantum cryptography, to shield our digital world from the potential havoc. They're on a mission to make sure that when quantum computers become a thing, our online stuff stays safe. Quantum computers are like a new level of super smart, but they're also making us step up our game in keeping things secure online. Our online defenses need to get better to deal with the new challenges these quantum things bring. There's a global squad of smart people, experts, and researchers working hard to come up with super fancy encryption that can stand up to the computational powers of quantum machines. It's like they're building a mega shield to protect our digital world from the quantum threat. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.